Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create table or we already learned how to create the tables but we are going to use them in a professional way to display the list of orders or the most recent orders we have inside the dashboard. If we open our project, okay so if we scroll a bit down, in the recent tutorials we have already covered these four cards which is a responsive card for the desktop, tablet and mobile. Also for this weekly sales, the bar graph, then in the last tutorial we covered this pie chart. And now in today's story, we're going to create this recent order section over here. We are going to get the actual data, which you can see over here from the database when we are going to reach towards the orders. And in here, we're going to create a proper separate order section. And whenever it is going to be clicked, we will display all the details of that specific order transaction with the transaction ID. If there is any, then we have the number of items. Let's say this one have five items. So we will display all those items over here with all its images titles and then we have the price the quantity and then the total price because you can see it's a 10 as a as a price and then quantity is 2 then multiply which it will become 20 same way as this one then we have the subtotal shipping and tax calculated then we have the total over here on the right side you can see we have customer contact person shipping address bidding address at the top we have the date of the order total items we can change the status and also we have the order total over here and at the top you can see the order id so this is what we're going to create in detail in the upcoming videos but for today for the dashboard we're going to create this recent orders section quickly We are creating Flutter e-commerce admin panel and in this we are going to create the last video of our dashboard tutorial and in the previous tutorials we have already covered and learned the tables which we are going to use in today's tutorial. If you are new you can watch the previous videos and also we learned the responsive screens in the third section, admin management, routes and configuration of the projects and also with the firebase so if you're new you can watch the previous videos so let's get started with today's tutorial okay so we are inside our project and this is the mobile version and the tablet so let's start working with the dashboard desktop so inside this row if you remember that we have a bar graph inside a column with an expanded so that in the row we have basically two elements this is the first one and this is the second one right so the first expanded is the left side and the second expanded is the right side with the order status pie chart in the left expanded section we have a column with the first value of bar graph and then we have the orders so you're going to create the orders over here so let's open this folder in the shop screens of dashboard folder we have a responsive screens and in the widgets we are going to create the widgets over here but because we are going to use the table so we are going to create the table here okay, inside this table this is the same approach that we are going to use throughout inside our admin panel course we will create a table folder and in the table folder we will create a data table dot file and table source dot file so data table will contain the design of the data table whereas table source will contain the data table source for this specific table if you watch the previous last video of the table section in which we learned that what is this table source and why we need it we have to use the table source in order to add the pagination so you will know that in a minute but first in the desktop i'm going to add the column with the title over here so in the dram container i created a column axis is start and in the children we have the title with the headline small and then we have a space between the sections and then i just call the dashboard order table which is this data table and i have named this class as dashboard order table which is currently empty so this means now we can start designing this but before let's create the table source in the order row if you hover over it we have to use or override these four missing functions because we are using this data table source so once we added all these functions we will go to the data table and instead of this container we are going to use the t paginated data table widget that we created i'll show you in a minute so for the columns we need a list and for the source we need to pass the class that we created as order rows which is over here i name it order rows rows of the order and if you want to name anything else you can do it so we have the source 
for this page editor table and we have source created now inside the columns i have added the five columns first one is order id then date item status and amount we are using data column 2 and in the label the widget we're going to use the text widget to display our titles now the columns are added source is added now we can design something so first let me show you this page editor data table it has a lot of features that we can use but first of all if you remember that we created this widget we have columns and rows checkbox pagination header design sorting and if you want to know all these things you can watch the videos link is in the description for the design i use the minimum width of 700 table height is 500 and data row height is the excel which is 32.0 in the t sizes class so t sizes class with the 32 multiplied 1.2 so this is the data row height that i am using so once we have the design we have the columns and we created the source now let's work on the source to design the row first and before that because we need the data over here so inside the dashboard controller okay inside this controller you can see we have the list of orders which is a dummy data and it contains five orders so this data that we are going to display in here you can see we do not have currently any items count for this order table i just removed it so other than that we have all the data as we know that we have to return the data row or data row 2 and in the cells we can return the list of cells I add a semicolon at the end and in the cells i'm going to return a text box in the data cell or the first cell which will contain the order id now in order to get the data i'm going to call the controller of dashboard controllers using dashboard controller dot instance because we already know that we created the instance of this controller so we can call the controller and to display the data inside the get row we will get from the list of orders we will extract the single order at a time using controller dot orders if we see this it is a static data so that we do not even need to create any instance we can directly call the dashboard controller dot orders and to extract a single order we have to pass the index that we receive inside this function so we have an order over here using this order we have the order id same way let's create the next cell next cell is going to use the same text with the order dot formatted order date formatted order date is a function that is going to get the order date and use this get formatted function to format the date this is the default format we can provide any other format which we want so date format with the format dot format we will get a formatted date over here next because we do not have any number of items in this dummy orders data but we will definitely display the items when we are going to get the data from database because we already stored the number of items in the database and now i have created two cells the last one is the simple text with the total order amount but over here this cell contains the t rounded container and in that i have a radius adding and a background color the reason to use this only container to add a different background color for the different status so for this background color if you remember the previous story using this t helper functions we created this function to get order status color if the order status is blue sorry the pending we will have a blue then orange purple and so on so we will use this and we will pass the order dot status and we're going to make the opacity as 0.1 for the specific color and then as a child we're going to display that status name then is row count approximate no false then for the orders length we can simply call that for controller dot orders dot length to display the row count and then simply selected row count will be false sorry to zero now we have our table created and also if we go back to the dashboard in here we have the title and i think everything is created now let's run this application okay so our application is running and we can see the error which is the instance of data row 2 this is something new we have the data row over here in the data source and we have data row 2 all the cells created what is okay so we are using throw over here instead of return so let me check on all others everything is fine over here now let's save it and you can see the error is gone and we have the recent orders which are the five orders we have the dates over here we have the order id items are static items then we have processing shipped and delivered and if you see the delivered is green over here and this one is also green this is shipped in purple and processing in orange with all the total amount over here so currently down below you can see we have rows per page 10 and displaying five orders with no pagination because we only have a few recent orders so this is what we wanted to create in today's tutorial now we have to copy these orders from here 
inside this and inside the response strings go for the tablet first and over here in the orders you have to paste the orders then same for the mobile import the dashboard order controller and now let's save it we have the recent orders and now when we are going to reach towards the tablet size let's scroll a bit down and you can see the recent orders are being displayed let's make it more smaller for the mobile size let's scroll it all the way down and over here you can see we have the recent orders and we can see all the orders clearly we have a scroll bar down below we have the pages everything is working fine so that's it for today's tutorial and by this way our dashboard is completed and we have almost all the things that we wanted to display over here but this way you can add more graphs you can add more analytics over here in the dashboard so you can easily customize the, those things definitely we're going to make it dynamic once we receive or get the orders from the database so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new and if you are new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe once again thank you for watching take care